Welcome to our weekly podcast show. We're here at the University of Rio Grande, Ohio State University South Center's studio office. This is a new feature, a five-minute YouTube video capsulizing our upcoming podcast. Our mission is simple, to promote the University of Rio Grande and its diverse educational programs, promote the Ohio State University South Center's and its many business technology programs, and finally, promote Southern Ohio, a great place to live, learn, and enjoy life to the fullest. On December 15th, we are going to be featuring David Nadler, Chief Risk Officer with the Ohio Valley Bank. David has some key pointers that small business owners should take note of when applying for a business loan. Thank you, Patrick and Jason. It's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, I just want to go over a couple of topics as it uh, relates to small business lending. Um, and one of the first things you'll do as a borrower is prepare your financial information, uh, whatever that may be for your purpose, so that you can present it to the bank uh, for your request. Uh, a lot of times that information will include projections and historical information uh, on the business that you uh, wish to borrow money for. Uh, projections are normally always required for new businesses and normally uh, there might be some kind of repayment even beyond those for a new business. Uh, that, that repayment may come from you know, a job that you may hold or a spouse's income, uh, whatever, the, whatever the bank may, may want to look depending on your situation. Also there are a lot of differences in different loan requests Obviously, a $1,000 request is different than a $6 million request, and there will be different requirements and different expectations for experience uh, from the bank for that type of a loan. Uh, normally, the bank will want collateral on all loans, uh, although unsecured loans are done, but generally in business, unless you've already got a pretty strong relationship with the bank, uh, they'll want some type of collateral. After you've presented your information, uh, the loan officer will normally take that loan through uh, the approval process. That may be simply the lender uh, granting approval or it may need to go through a series of committees uh, depending on the type of loan and also depending on the amount of the loan. As that loan goes through the underwriting process, uh, there may be additional questions that come up uh, for which the loan officer may ask you for additional information. As always, once the loan is granted, the bank does expect to repay, and I highly encourage you to understand the agreements that you sign and also understand that the bank's going to take whatever action is needed in order to collect the loan. Um, if you quit paying, which we hope nobody quits paying, but sometimes that happens, uh, we will you know, take every effort uh, that we need to take as a bank uh, to collect any amounts due. One of the things that businesses need to do is be sure that they complete all their due diligence as far as uh, everything that you need to do to understand uh, what the loan is going to do for your business, uh, what impact it will have, what advantages and disadvantages it could cause you. So you go into the situation uh, with all the knowledge you need to make that uh, business loan and that business venture successful. If for some reason the business venture is not successful, uh, obviously there will be repayment from some other source, uh, which is why I mentioned before, you know, the banks will look at all sources of income uh, to give you every probability that that loan will be able to repay as it was agreed in the original contract. Another item that I see frequently is sometimes borrowers don't carefully read their loan documentation and I encourage you when you get a loan, get that information beforehand, uh, make sure you understand all the provisions of the contract. Uh, obviously those provisions are, are different depending on the type of loan and the borrower, uh, but you do need to understand those and understand what your requirements are under that situation. In some cases it may make sense to not borrow any money. Sometimes businesses can grow, albeit a little bit slow, slower than if they had borrowed money, but that slow growth does allow the owners to grow into managing a larger organization. Uh, some business owners have different skill sets and they need to learn, just like someone in school needs to learn, how to operate their business. 
Uh, large businesses do require a different type of management than a small business with no employees. So please keep that in mind as you embark on your uh, as you embark um, on your in your business and to accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. And the last thing that I'd like to mention is that as an owner, it's very important for you to understand uh, your skills and where your weaknesses as well as your strengths are. Uh, your responsibility to fill in those gaps where your weaknesses are with professionals that can help you in that area. So with that being said, I'd like to turn this back over to Jason and Patrick. As you can see, we're going to have an exciting uh, guest on our podcast, David Nadler, Chief Risk Officer with the Ohio Valley Bank. On 4 o'clock to 4.30 on Blog Talk Radio. If you look at the description, you will see where you can go and listen to the podcast. Thank you.